Hello guys, it's Mike from Nitro Speed. Hope everyone's doing well. Starting off with a 1956 Jaguar XK140 from Matchbox. Love the old school Jaguars. So we're starting off with that in this video. And I got a couple of cars in here you've never seen. Well, that I know of anyway. So guys, let's go to the passenger side or, yeah, passenger side, go to the next one. Okay, guys, next one. Lotus Esprit S1. There we go, guys. I just cleaned these before I started the video. I'm trying to pick up some, uh, some castings you've seen, but haven't seen in a while, and some I don't think you've seen at all. Or since the day I got them. There's two that my most recent. This one's really nice. I think I have like three different paint variations. This white, yellow, and black. Yellow one, of course, is my favorite. Not real crazy about the uh, mess or however you want to call these uh, rims. Not real crazy about them. Not much detail in front or back. Okay, guys, next one. Nineteen fifty-seven Chevy. Now this is the most recent Chevy that's come out this year, and it's got a uh, red matte finish, no gloss on it. Rims are okay. The rims, tires are okay. I'm not real big on those. It'd be better if we had put some uh, rail riders on here. It'd look really good. Sorry, guys. All right, guys. Next side, next one. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and go to the 1970 Chevy Chevelle SS. And this is one of the other ones, uh, newest ones that came out this year as well. I think it was the B case. B or C, one of the two. Very nice casting, but I'm going to hang on to it because uh, it's going to stay in my collection. I know Mike Dyson said he'd take it if I didn't want it, so but I really decided to keep it because I do like the color. All right, guys. Driver's side, we'll go to the next one. Okay. Next one, guys. Midnight Auto. I know Gary likes these as much as I do. I absolutely love these. I never really as big on the rims, but they do look good on this. 
I think some real writers would really make this uh, stand out. Great looking casting, absolutely love it. All right, guys, let's go ahead and go to the next one. All right, next one. 69 Copo Corvette. I was going to say 68, but I was one year off. I love the body styles of these uh, Corvettes. Stingrays, I should say. Pretty cool looking casting. Not real big on the graphics on the side, but on uh, the hood in the back, not too bad. Oh, so filthy. I thought I need to clean it up. I might as well bring it out in the video. So, here she is, guys. Looking really clean and really nice. Real shiny. Not much detail, though, front or back. It still makes up a great casting. 69 Copo Corvette. I might have said Camaro, but I meant Corvette. All right, guys, driver's side, next one. All right, let's go next one, guys. Next one's 2019 Ford Mustang Coupe. Love the blue color on this. It's absolutely gorgeous. Really a nice looking casting. Real nice detail front and back. Such a great casting. I absolutely love this Mustang from Matchbox. All right, guys, let's go to the next one. Okay, guys, next one. Sorry about that. 1963. Dodge pickup truck. Sorry guys, I forgot when I put trucks on here, I have to be careful. It's real close to cutting the top of the truck off. But boys, they look great. Absolutely love this casting. This from Johnny Lightning. The paintwork on the front of this is a little sloppy. All right, guys, let's go to the next one. Seventy Mercury Cyclone of Hot Wheels. Absolutely a gorgeous casting. Absolutely love this. Well, tomorrow is the big day for the big game. But I will never watch that time, so as long as they put that crap that's on there now. Need to put the stones in there and Guns of Roses or Foo Fighters. Just that crap that's out there today, man. There's just no music. You know, 50 years 
have gone by the music I grew up to. Everybody still listens to it. 50 years, they're not going to know this music. They're not going to wear their t-shirts. Like, what are you doing? Classic rock. It's the way it is. To me, music kind of died right around the 90s. After that, it was just junk. Alright, guys. Excellent. This is the one I got at uh, my meal call, but I wanted to bring it out on a regular video. And it's my Fat Fender 40. Absolutely a gorgeous casting. Got a lot of compliments on this. It's absolutely a gorgeous casting. I have a few packages coming in. Trades and uh, one from Dyke Castoni will be in here. And uh, that'll be a while because it's coming from the UK. It'll be worth the wait though. And uh, one coming from Diecast Clown. And then. Uh, He's been very busy, Hewitt's, doing other customs, and I know you'll get to mine, but no rush on it. But uh, he's taking care of the gasser that uh, he made for me, fixing that. And he's uh, doing a custom paint job on one of my uh, 60s, 40 kind of line pickup. All right, guys. And I have something coming in for Diecast Clown for another package for him. Alright, guys. Last one. For the night. And it's one of 5,000. And it's the, uh, from Mini GT, the Liberty Walk. And it's the, uh, Everybody watch the Loyal Works GT Nissan 35 GT RR. And that's just a real nice detail. The color on this car is just amazing. Really nice looking casting. I tell you, I'm glad I got this. And when I did, I got this. Probably last summer. And uh, it is just absolutely colorful, gorgeous looking casting. Absolutely love it. So guys, that's going to be it for the video. Smash that thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know which one was your favorite. And please subscribe, guys. Have yourselves a good night. Be good to each other. Be well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, enjoy the Super Bowl, guys. This is Mike from Nitro Speed. I'm out of here. See ya. Oops.